Hello again, I am Blunty, and on a personal note, I took the wrong painkillers today, so if my words today start slurring together into a mush-mouthed mess, please forgive me. Meanwhile, moving on, I've got a job to do. Being broken down on Blunty's review table today are two phone cases, both handy for those of us who use our smartphones as cameras often, and one of which that has a bunch more lifestyle-related perks that come along for the ride. First up, please allow me to introduce to you the trigger. That's T-R-Y-G-G-E-R, misspelled naturally because it's a brand thing or something. I don't know. It always bugs me. Trigger. Anyway, it started life as a successfully funded Kickstarter project. And these days, you can snatch one up at bitemyapple.co, which is where I got this one sent in from. On the face of it, it's a nicely fitting case, made from a very pleasant feeling polycarbonate in black or white, and with much care taken around things like the power button so things are kept feeling responsive and nice and clicky, unlike some other cases I've had that cover the buttons but leave them feeling kind of spongy and unpleasant, you know the ones I'm talking about. But the reason you want to own one, if you're an iPhoneographer, is because it's got a nifty sliding panel on the back that can, literally at the flick of a digit, instantly engage a polarizing lens filter. And if you don't know why you would want a polarizing lens filter, let's take a look at the difference it can make. Even if you're new to photography, you're probably already familiar with polarizing lenses in sunglasses. They cut through the glare and help improve the perception of color and contrast. Same thing on a camera, pretty much. You can slice right through harsh glare on surfaces like water and glass and polished wood and even leaves and flowers. You can punch up the sky and make clouds look more dramatic and stop your scene looking all washed out and a bit pastel. And here in video mode, of course, it works exactly the same way. And as I rotate the filter, thanks to its little notched adjustments wheel thingy there on the corner, you can see the difference it can make and the control you can get. One thing of note though, and this goes for any polarizing filter on even the fanciest of camera lenses, when you use them on wide angle lenses, like those in camera phones for instance, you can sometimes get an uneven effect across the scene, often in skies as the corners become darker. This is just the physics of using a polarizer on a wide angle lens, there's very little you can do to avoid it really. But aside from the limits of those physics, it's still a damn handy phone case if you're an iPhoneographer. It'll give you a little bit extra control and a little bit of extra ability to make your images look a bit more punchy without having to fit around with them too much in apps and filters and stuff. Particularly handy for those of us who like to shoot landscapes and botanicals. Right now it's only for iPhone 4 and 4S, but I'd bet Vegas odds that there's an iPhone 5 version coming down the line pretty soon. Don't know for sure, I'm just guessing, but that's what I would be doing if I was these trigger people. Contestant number two, please welcome to the stage the Rock Shield Case V3 from Rock Form. And again, it's not spelled how it sounds. Rock Shield, R O K S H I E L D. The Rock Form people asked me if I'd like to take a look at their stuff, and I said sure, as their approach kind of appealed to me. It looked interesting and unique. But if I'm honest, I thought I wasn't going to love it, as I personally usually prefer my cases to be of the ultra-slim proportions, and these bulkier, tough cases usually don't ring my dinner bell, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. But, you folks know me, I'm all about giving gear a fair go on its own merits, so I gave it a go on its own merits. And guess what? The Rock Shield case here has been living on my iPhone 5 for three weeks now, and I'm loving it. I got used to the extra bulk quickly, as really it's not that bulky, and the materials are light and strong. It's a two-piece construction that clips together over the phone very securely. My iPhone 5 will never come free of this case unless I desire it to be so. And there's a rubber bumper that goes around the outside to give it a little extra grip and shock protection. It's got a nice strong magnet built in too, and no, it won't affect your reception or anything like that. It's a magnet, not a Faraday cage, or a dark wizard or something. It's handy, and while not super strong, it's enough to keep your phone in place on your average metal surface, and also pretty handy if your bed frame is metal like mine, I found. But, the real party piece around the back is not the magnet, it's above the magnet. This little socket thingy right here. See, the Rock Shield is part of a modular accessory system. It comes with a mount with some of 3M's best adhesive on the back. So strong, in fact, it comes with a warning that once it's on, it may very well damage the surface underneath if you try and rip it off. 
It's good for in the car, on the boat, or your motorcycle, I guess, or pretty much any flat surface where you want to conveniently mount your phone on in a regular basis. But while handy, that's actually the least interesting option. You can get what they call a sport clip, which is pretty much just a belt clip, uh, or a pocket clip, or whatever you want to call it, really. But honestly, if you want a belt clip, or a pocket clip, or whatever, and happen to be from a sun-loving country that has a reputation for loving a nice ice-cold beer at the end of a long, hard, hot day, you'd do what I did, and get the belt clip, which is also a bottle opener. Friggin' genius idea as far as I'm concerned. And this is what I've got clipped to my case most of the time. It's extremely strongly built, carved from billet aluminium and a satin finished stainless steel. It snaps into the case very securely and the clip fits nice and tight. But then, here's where we roll all the way back to where we started, iPhoneography. There's a tripod adapter, again, machined from billet aluminium and sporting that ever-handy standard quarter 20 thread socket on the bottom for any standard tripod mount. I've used it on tripods, on monopods, and with hand grips, it's a great solution for being tripod ready with your phone without having to swap cases or find some other attachment solution that may or may not work with all cases out there. I just click the belt clip off and snap the phone onto the waiting mount on my tripod or whatever and it's amazingly convenient and fast. Cleverly, they've even included a place to easily thread through a wrist strap or maybe just some of those goofy little phone charm thingies. But, you know, given this case is all about being as useful as possible, I'd go with the wrist strap. And I think I've actually pretty much sold half a dozen of these things to friends and peers over the last few weeks of testing as they've been seeing me use it at press events or photo walks or whatever. They ask me about it, I tell them about it, and they're all like, I need to get one of those. Other mounts which I didn't have time to test include things like bike handlebar mounts and suction cup swivel mount thingies and more. You can see it all on their website. In fact, the only thing I didn't like about the rock form case was the rubber surround. It has this little flap that protects the home button, sure, but it ruins the feel and responsiveness of the home button. It's there to protect it, but the click is mushed and you kind of have to mash your thumb into it to get it to do stuff, and I really don't like it. Fortunately, you can do what I've been doing and just leave the rubber a surround off. It doesn't really affect the case performance in any way, shape or form, really. Or you can do what I'm going to try after I'm done filming this review and simply snip off that button flappy bit and keep the rest, because I really do like the red as an accent colour. It's kind of nice. Speaking of which, you can get it entirely in black if you're in ninja stealth mode, or indeed one of several other colour combinations to suit your personal fashionista's needs. But whatever way you wind up going, you're going to get one of the best designed and most useful rugged iPhone cases I've come across so far. They even come with screen protectors if you're living in a rather adventurous way, or maybe an extra clumsy life, and want full protection on each one of the six sides. It and several similar products, which aren't all for Apple users by the way, even the Galaxy S3 users get some love, can be snatched up at rockform.com. Just like it's spelled on the screen there. No C in rock, like you'd expect there to be. So there you go, two handy dandy iPhone case finds which snatch up the blunty seal of approval. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. I'm going to go lie down now, because I'm sleepy. Sleepy baby. Beep, 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 beep.